With our coverage of the new stadium plan, Kyle Chinen is up, with us. Uh, Kyle, what was some of UH's reaction to this plan? Yeah, I was at the press conference yesterday. UH President David Lasner was one of the speakers at the press conference, but he's retiring next year, so he will not see this project through completion, and Craig Angelus most likely will. Um, as the new AD, he's only been on the job for about six months now, and you know their stance is they're they're in support of it. They're backing this plan. He's heard a lot about the stadium issue since taking the job um, earlier this year, and their stance is they're they're willing and ready to work together um, to make this stadium happen. Having a minimum requirement of twenty five thousand seats, that's a huge step up from Ching Field right now, right? Yeah. So if you look at the numbers, uh, a minimum of twenty five thousand. That's 10,000 more than UH's current seating capacity at Ching Field in Manoa at 15,000. Um, and that's a, only about 4,000 more than the smallest current standing stadium in the Mountain West, which is San Jose State. They have about 21,000 and some change. So Angelus, he, he really talked about that too. And he wasn't too concerned about the number because also too, with the RFP process, a company or a group could come in and it could be more seats. We don't really know. It's not necessarily supposed to be at 25,000. That's just the minimum. Craig Angelus was saying, you know, it's, it's, it's the number that they have. It's the number that they can work with. They're going to hope to sell it out. He understands that with the way college football and how consumers and fans take in football games, you know, people are sometimes more inclined to just get the game and watch it on their TV back home. So, they, so you know, a lot of programs don't necessarily need the 100,000 or the 50,000 seats um, in their stadium anymore. So they're okay with the number. And last question, Kyle. Uh, you know, what is this going to do for recruitment for UH football? It will be another tool that they can use because, you know, up until this point, they'll be like, this is where we're playing right now, but just wait, we'll get a stadium. We don't really know when or what it's going to look like, but we will get a stadium. But now they have a clear plan that is laid out. They can say, oh, we're on it 2028. That's in a couple years from now, but this is... Um, just kind of a visual representation of where you're going to be playing um, if you stick around, say, for five years or, you know, down the line when newer recruits come in and you can show them the mock-up or, you know, maybe by the time 2025 rolls around is when the supposed construction is supposed to start. You can take them to the site, like, this is where the home games will be, this is what it's going to look like. So it's... I can't say whether or not it's going to boost or hinder recruitment in any way, but it is going to be another tool that they can use to be like, hey, this is this is what's going to happen. This is where you could be making a name for yourself. All right. Well, there you have it. The latest details on this plan, Kyle. Thank you for joining. Thanks, Davis.